Yeah. All right, Rob, let's get right to a big Thursday night football game. I mean, heck, Thursday nights now are basically like Monday nights. You, you get a game on and you hope it's a great one. And, Rob, it is a great one tonight, uh, or at least on paper. We've got uh, the Kansas City Chiefs and the Los Angeles Chargers. Not only division rivals, but also teams that, you know, have designs on getting out of the AFC and getting to the Super Bowl. That might be a tad bit ambitious for the Chargers. But, uh, you know, they're a very good team. They, they went and, to Kansas City earlier this year and won. So, yep, yeah. yep, when the Chiefs were struggling. But still, they won. And uh, that, we'll maybe see they what made happens the tonight. Struggle. We'll see if the Chiefs can, can return the favor and even this thing up. Because you know, Rob, they do not want to be swept by the Chargers. Because they, they're 9-4, and four, the Chiefs. The Chargers are 8-5. and five. So this game could really determine the AFC West champion. Oh no, right? no, this is a this is a huge game because if they finish with the same record and the Chiefs yep. have swept them, I mean, it, uh, I mean, and the Chargers, Chargers have swept, have swept the swept Chiefs, them. right? They're they're going to win the division. I mean, absolutely, it's a, it's a huge game, Chris. Uh, one, I think the biggest for the last Los Angeles Chargers, obviously, and it's a, it's one of those games that can turn a franchise or make people feel better about them. You know, they're the second second kid in L.A. The Rams oh, were God. already Are here. Are they even that? I mean, Well, you know what I mean. They're trying to make their know. way. Yeah, they're, they're no, because the Rams, Because the Rams were Let's originally from L.A. So, so yeah. them coming back, they had a fan base already. But the Chargers, you know, people from San Diego aren't coming up. They're mad at the Chargers. So, so that's why tonight's crowd will probably be 60-40 Chiefs. Yep. They play 17 road games, essentially, Rob, which does make their 8-5 and well, I was there a, Sunday. a little bit I, more impressive. I was there Sunday. I don't think it was a road game against the Giants. Even really? Though, yeah, there were a lot of New York fans, Chris. You know a lot of New Yorkers live in L.A. Was it neutral or would you give it an advantage 60, 40 the Chargers. Chargers. I, I, okay. there, was a, there was a big Giants contingent, but I heard the Charger fans. It wasn't like... I went to the what was the other small stadium? Remember they were playing in the soccer yeah. stadium a couple years ago? I never got now, out there. I would have loved to. I heard the sight lines were. Now it was amazing, Chris, because you're in like you know the, I don't know what they have thirty thousand seats. A high school game, right? Right. Yeah, right. something like that. And those games used to be eighty twenty the visiting team. Wow, like it was wow. that bad. Wow. Well, look, I would say this. I mean, obviously, it's tough to take a, a crowd away from, you know, a team that's been there for a long time, has a history. We see that, Rob, in the NBA with Brooklyn and New York. I mean, right. there's no comparison between the two teams. I mean, Brooklyn is light years ahead of the Knicks. Well, but, they've been there forever, right? They yeah, move but the, anywhere, the right. fans still aren't really feeling Brooklyn, and they're all into the Knicks. So it's tough, but the Chargers, this is the way to try to do it by having a good team, which they do. And, Rob, what I wanted to get to, in addition to the game and its ramifications, uh, there was an article today in, on ESPN by Bill Barnwell, who does, you know, does a great job covering the NFL. But he wrote that Patrick Mahomes and Justin Her Herbert could be the next great quarterback rivalry. And, Rob, my answer to that is every year – they say that about Mahomes and somebody else. It was whether it's Mahomes and Lamar Jackson, that's Manning Brady, or it's Mahomes and Josh Allen. Now it's Mahomes and Herbert. It could be, it, look, if the Bengals have a nice run, it could be Mahomes and Joe Burrow. That's not even to mention the NFC. So my point is Mahomes is in there, and, and yeah, okay, he's not having his typical year, but he's still having a very good year by most people's, most star standards. Uh, but the rest of them, I don't know. I mean, we got to see. I like Justin Herbert. He's very good. Uh, but is he going to be the one? Is it going to be Josh Allen? Is it going to be Lamar? I think until one of these other guys has a great postseason run, then none of them will really be able to lay hold of the claim that it's me and Mahomes. That's the one difference. They're all young, including Mahomes. But Mahomes has done it 
in the postseason. That's the difference between him and all the other ones that we could say are going to battle him and be his rival over the next decade. That's that's what I think about it, Rob. Well, I mean, it just uh, I, I think we have to wait for those other guys to have those moments and then see where they are. It's hard to uh, compare somebody who has won a Super Bowl to somebody who's barely made the playoffs or barely won a playoff game. So I agree with that. I mean, it's just an in-game rival. You're looking at young guys. Even though I looked at that story and some stats and – uh, Herbert's, Herbert's having, having a, a better year. second his stats year. Are better. Yeah, his better second year than Mahomes had, which is hard to believe so far. Like the year's not complete, but so far compared to Mahomes' second year. So that's interesting just to see. But tonight could be one of those games, Chris. Like if if he pl- plays well and Mahomes struggles or and 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 and, and um you know the Chargers win. And it just depends. It's still not that not that it, it's 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 still apples and oranges until, you know, Herbert wins an MVP or goes to the Super Bowl or wins a Super Bowl. I still think it's apples and oranges. But if he were to beat him twice this year, that would be like, oh, and play really well. That would be interesting. In a big game with a lot on riding on it, he outplays Patrick Mahomes tonight. People will take notice of it, but I don't think it flips the script. Right. Right, because as you and Mahomes hasn't just won a Super Bowl. He's been to another Super Bowl and lost, and he's been to the AFC Championship game and lost. So, I mean, he's had major postseason success. Uh, and and you're talking about, like you said, Lamar just won his first playoff game last year. Uh, Josh Allen, you know, nice, decent little run last year. Um, but shoot, they're they're struggling just to make the playoffs this year, Buffalo. And um, so that's where your bread is buttered, Rob, is in the postseason. And Herbert is tough, man. I mean, I I really like him. The Chargers got a, a, a really good one. And we knew that, Rob. Remember his first game ever. Uh, Tyrod Taylor. He, he took no snaps that out, week. Right, right. Right. Out like surprisingly, we find out right before the game. And Herbert is thrown in there as a rookie right. against he, the Chiefs and plays tremendously. Right, cause and I so think he that... seems to be legit, but like you said, you got to do it in the playoffs. It's as simple as that. Yeah, it's it's about the postseason in that standpoint. The only difference would be if, I don't know, something like uh, you could just take a look. I just think it's about the moment here. You know, like, like it'll if, be a if, buzz tomorrow. Like if that's he, what if I mean, he, right? Yeah, if, if he, he if he outplays they, Patrick, yeah, I give you and that. they win, there'll be a buzz about man. This dude's got something. Hey, right. the, the the Chiefs came in with a winning streak, you know, and they both come in with winning streaks, right? Um, uh, yeah. If they come, if they come well, in, I think and, the Chargers have won their last two. Right. Uh, yeah, they've won their last two. And they it, they were hot, and this is what one thing that's interesting about this game, Rob, because you mentioned it. They beat Kansas City thirty to twenty four in Week Three, but the Chargers were playing well early. They were 4-1 and one with good victories. The Chiefs, the Raiders, the Browns, Washington. And Herbert has played great, continued to, and maybe even better, some might argue, uh, as the season's gone on. Although he was great. He threw four touchdowns against Kansas City earlier. Um, but the team is now, they've, they're 4-4 four and four in their last eight, Rob whereas they were 4-1 and one in their first five. So when they were really rolling and Kansas City was struggling, especially that defense, they it took a touchdown in the last minute of the game for the Chargers to win. And now, obviously, Kansas City's playing better. The Chargers are up and down. I mean, they're, they're one of those teams like Cincinnati that you don't know exactly what you're the getting. The only thing I liked at what they did Sunday when I was at that game is the Giants are a bad team. And they just took it to him. You know, like there was no, you're not winning here kind of game. And I thought that was good. Just going into a big game. It wasn't like they struggled against the Giants and, and man, it was nip and tuck. No, they beat up the Giants pretty good. So if I'm the Chargers, I got to feel good about that. Got to feel good that, you know, they have house money, so to speak, from the standpoint that they did beat the Chiefs already. But this is a bigger game because the division is on the line. And if you're the Chargers and you want to make a move, this is the kind of game, Chris, you got to win. This is just plain and simple. And I think the Chiefs got to win this too. 
No, I agree. You know, the Chiefs what I'm haven't saying? punched like, their ticket to the playoffs yet. No, no, neither team. That's why even for the Chargers, you're right. They're in good shape. But if they lose, now all of a sudden they're in a dog fight just to get into the play. Right. No, this is a big – this could turn somebody's season around. It yep. really can. I don't know who the Chiefs play their last three or four games, three games. But uh, a loss here, and just depending on how it stacks up, you know, they might be in a dog fight. It's a big game, and they've won a lot recently, and they're on the road. And, uh, you know, the defense has played well. Patrick's been okay. Uh, but he, they need a big night. They need a big night. 